What is going on guys? I am Jehovah. Welcome to a commentary. I like to do these commentaries from time to time. If you're a subscriber to my channel, surely you know that. I don't even know what's playing on the screen right now. I'm going to find some gameplay after I get done saying what I need to say. I know I've got some MWR gameplays, I believe, laying around that'll, that should work. But I want to talk about a few different things. First and foremost, Toys for Tots. I had the Toys for Tots charity stream over the weekend. And I want to I want to thank you guys um, for just knocking it out of the park. We we did uh, an amazing job raising money. 100% of the donations from that stream. I streamed for 12 hours. 100% uh, of the donations are going to be used for purchasing toys and then donated to Toys for Tots. And we raised over $11,000. So if you were a part of that stream, if you donated or if you just watched or whatever, uh, thank you very, very much. If you missed it, I'm sorry. Uh, but... Uh, the video coming to uh, show off all the toys and all that good stuff will happen eventually. I wanted to kind of follow up and just let you guys know that I, I have not purchased the toys yet. I'm just, I, I, I am so busy right now with uh, uh, sponsored videos and stuff like that because you guys know that all the new video games come out in quarter four at the end of the year. Uh, so I'm working with a lot of different, a lot of different companies right now. Um, for uh, for video games that are coming out and all that stuff, which is which is cool. It's good for me. It's good for you guys, and uh, yeah. But it's just it's it's busy. So as soon as I find some time, I'm going to be purchasing those toys, uh, donating them, and filming the video. Um, also, some other things going on. I, I want to talk about real quick. Modern Warfare Remastered. I'm absolutely loving this game. I really am. It's great. But there is a lot of room for improvement. Uh, Raven Studios uploaded a video today trying to explain the collateral damage issue with the sniper rifles, and this sounds like such a small thing, but that's what I primarily did in Call of Duty 4 and enjoyed the most was run around and snipe, and I never had to worry about putting direct impact or deep, sorry, excuse me, deep impact or even stopping power, um, on the sniper classes to hit collaterals in the original game. I, you know, I rocked steady aim almost exclusively, or I'm pretty sure exclusively, and never had to worry about it. You would hit collaterals on accident. You'd shoot people in the legs and get collaterals in Call of Duty 4, and it's just so unfortunate that they're, they made a video today trying to show that, like, it's the same as the original game, and all they did was use reg scope, and they put deep impact and stopping power on, and tried to show that it was the same as the original game as far as the reg scope with deep impact and stopping power. But something is wrong. You used to be able to shoot people in the chest and get collaterals. You can't do that anymore. I don't know. Also, I feel like the servers are fucking booty do. I, you, I cannot. I, there's so many times that I'm like inside of a door, around a corner, or whatever, and this has always been an issue with a lot of Call of Duties. Um, there's so many times that I'm just like around a corner, away from somebody, as far as I think, and then I and then I die, and then I watch the kill cam, and I was nowhere near where I thought I was, and they just spray me down. Or so many times you get in a gunfight, you watch the kill cam, and you're like, oh, I didn't even shoot apparently, according to the kill cam, even though maybe you got two or three hit markers before you died. It's just super frustrating. I wish they would. I don't know. I feel like the servers are garbage. Maybe they're not. Maybe I'm just trash. I'm definitely not as good as what I used to be. But I used to be able to really, really, really easily hold my own. Sniping, red guns, no matter what it was in Call of Duty 4. And you guys have known, I've uploaded more recent videos in the past year or so of me playing Call of Duty 4. Um, I did some cage matches a while ago, and I just beast moded everybody I played in cage match and all that good stuff. And now MWR is out, and I feel like it's a struggle like a struggle for me to do decent and I don't like I, I feel like it has to be these server issues there's so many times where uh, I use like the M14 put the red dot right on somebody center mass fire two or three shots and don't get a hit marker and it's like what is happening where are these bullets going I just don't get it anyways let me know your all's comments and concerns and thoughts down below about that um Real quick, I want to shout out a Twitter account. Deluxe and I have started a Twitter account called Video Game Clips, and the link will be in the description if you guys are interested. Basically, what we do is post community clips that are submitted um, for any game, any and every game, you know, trolling, funny, amazing, whatever you could know, scope a plane in Battlefield 1, or just something funny in Modern Warfare Remastered, or whatever the case, doesn't matter. Um, but we've been doing that for a little while now, a couple weeks.
weeks, and, and it's been a lot of fun, and I, f- I feel like the feedback on it is really awesome. A lot of people are really excited to get clips submitted and get their clips featured over there, which is really cool, because whenever we tweet out the videos, we also, um, it, it says clip by, and then your Twitter account is mentioned, so that way you get the recognition for it, and if people are like, oh, that was really cool, they can follow you and all that good stuff. So um, been having a lot of fun with that, but we're running a giveaway right now. We're actually giving away $100 to one person who we pick and it's going to be whatever you want. So if you want Steam Cash, you get Steam Cash. If you want PSN, you get PSN. If you want Xbox Cash, you get Xbox Cash. So that's what we're doing right now. You know, that'll help you get a couple games uh, for the holidays, obviously. So we're doing that. All you have to do is click the link in the description and go follow the account. That's literally all you have to do. It's the easiest thing you could do to be entered to win 100 bucks. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be awesome. And uh, the account is really, like, I, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be disappointed in following the account. We pick some, uh, some really awesome clips and uh, post videos on there very regularly. So you should enjoy that. And if you, if you don't mind, uh, you know, enable your notifications for that account and that'll make sure you don't miss any of the posted videos because Twitter is a little different. You don't have like a subscription feed, obviously. So whenever you turn on those notifications that, that actually sends a push notification to your phone saying, hey, Video Game Clips has uploaded the, this video. And uh, yeah, so that's that. And then my second channel, I wanna ask for some feedback on this, guys. And I know I've like asked for feedback on a couple things, a couple different topics already, so it might be kind of a scattered, crazy comment section. But my second channel, so you guys know on my second channel, I do Let's Plays. The most recent Let's Plays that I have done, Gears of War 4, Battlefield 1, um, I had a lot of fun with those. But it is time to get back, man, people love my GTA Let's Plays. I started with GTA 3. I did that. I did Vice City. Vice City was one of my favorites. While I was doing Vice City, people were already getting hyped and like, you got to do San Andreas. You got to do San Andreas. So I had never, I don't think I really, I played through like half the, the campaign originally whenever San Andreas was out. But I, because so many people wanted to see it, I played through San Andreas. I absolutely loved it, had a blast. And people were so supportive of that Let's Play. That was probably one of my most successful Let's Plays of all time. And it was a really good time. The thing is, is with GTA, their campaigns, I think at the least, are like 20 hours. Um, I think San Andreas was over 30. So I have to split it up into a lot of episodes. I don't like to upload more than one episode per day. That's just not my style. I don't like to spam uploads too much. Um, so I try to do, whenever I do the GTA Let's Plays, I try to do one episode per day because the campaigns are so long. Um, but anyways, I'm on to GTA 4 now, and I, I want to start it here in the very near future. Like I said, I'm very busy right now, but I do want to get it started and start uploading it before the end of the year. Uh, so that should be coming very soon. But I want some feedback from you guys, because I looked it up. Uh, there's this great website that I use called How Long to, Wait, yeah, how, HLTB, howlongtobeat.com or something. I don't know if you just search how long to beat any game it pops up it's like the first search result but it's great like a lot of people give their feedback on how long it took them to beat the game what platform they played on if they went for side missions or if they just went straight story all that good stuff so uh i've been using it that's not a sponsorship or anything i just i honestly enjoy their service i use it for all my let's plays i look it up before i play it but anyways so i looked up gta 4 gta 4 with there's two dlcs the ballad of gay tony and lost and damned i think something like that there's two DLCs, and combined, those two DLCs are about 20 hours, and the regular campaign for GTA 4 is about 30 hours. So obviously, I'll start with the regular campaign first, and then I'd like to go ahead and do the DLCs more than likely. But anyways, long story short, it's going to be over 50 hours of gameplay, which is like insane to even think about and intimidating, I'm not going to lie. So even if I split that up into 30-minute episodes, that's over. You know, that's going to be probably over 100 episodes. And one episode per day is going to take me more than three months to upload GTA 4 plus the DLCs. So I'm sitting here thinking, like, some people are like, screw it, do do one hour long episodes. But I don't know how many people really want to have hour long episodes. Like, I don't know how many people will actually watch that. I feel like that could be a, a negative thing for some people. Some people might not. I mean, some people barely have 30 minutes to spend on an episode, let alone an hour. So, I don't know, I guess let me know in the comments down below, hour-long episodes, 30-minute long episodes. I'm probably going to do at least 30 minutes long. If I see, like, an overwhelming amount of people saying, like, hey, hour-long, I might consider it. But another problem with that is that it's going to be hell on my internet. I only have, like, a 5-megabyte upload. So, uploading, you know, decent quality footage, hour-long episodes 
it can be a real, real struggle bus on my internet. So, um, yeah, I guess I was just wanting to see your all's feedback on that. Um, I guess if I do 30 minute episodes, you know, that's 30 hours for the first campaign. So that's 60. Yeah. That, I mean, that's, that's 60 uploads right there. So it's going to take me two months to upload, uh, just the episodes of the original game and then not including the DLC after that. So yeah, I guess that's that's all I really wanted to talk about, that that stuff's coming soon. Also, um, as far as Let's Plays go, uh, Mario. I have the, the Super Mario World back uh, Return to Dinosaur Island, I believe is what it's called, which is actually like a modded, fan-made um, sequel, or pre- sequel, prequel? I'm not sure. Sequel, I believe, to Super Mario World on SNES. I got uh, an awesome, I'm going to show it off whenever I do the first episode, but I got an awesome cartridge like in a box and everything that's made by this this company called Fishy Face Games. Um, they do really, really cool stuff, and, and they hooked me up with a copy of it to, you know, in return, kind of give them a shout out in the Let's Play. So I'm going to be doing that, but I got to make sure that my Super Nintendo is still hooked up because obviously it's not very easy to just have a Super Nintendo hooked up ready to record. It doesn't normally have HDMI, uh, but plan on starting that at some point. And, uh, the, if you were, I did three episodes of the infinite warfare campaign. Everybody was like, Oh, the game's not good, but the campaign's pretty awesome. I don't know, man. I played like the first hour and a half of infinite warfare and I honestly thought it was dog shit. So I I don't think I'm going to be completing that. Let's play. I don't really care to at all, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to give an explanation on that. Anyways, guys, I've rambled about enough. Address all those things that I brought up in the comments section down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.